month of giving, a month of generosity. Come together, join us on Imam Hussein TV and generously donate as you always have done so we may continue to provide programs which serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and of course the Holy Household. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> Welcome to Seven Steps to Heaven, the best quiz show on planet Earth. Not my words, your words. If you didn't say them, you shall say them tonight. I'm your host for the most. I go by the name of Yasser Al Hanfi, and you are who? Rashid Haidar. Rashid Haidar, I am the co host on the show tonight, oh. Seven Steps to Heaven, where inshallah, you guys at home have a chance to go to heaven, aka Karbala. Uh, oh my God, and guess what? Your gateway to Karbala is Imam Hussein TV3, which is maybe the reason why we're live tonight. But before we get the callers on, the viewers that are looking at us today, mm -hmm. let's explain to them why they should call in live today. Yeah. Give me the first reason if you can. The first reason why you should call in today mm. is... I was about to say about three or four. <laughs> the first reason why you should call in today is because you guys get the opportunity to possibly go to Karbala. Oh. And who doesn't want to go to Karbala? <laughs> if someone says they don't, <laughs> I do not associate myself with them. <laughs> Second reason why you might call in live is because if you get seven questions right, and guess what? Mm. Guess how many total questions there are? Seven. Seven? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> good math. So that's why if you get seven questions right, we will give you a ring where the stone is made out of the marble extracted from the shrine of Imam al Hussein. Salam Allah alayhi Allah. in Karbala. And then, like Mullah Rashid said, if you do win, we'll put you in the big draw, the big prize, where a little kid, maybe me, maybe you, yep. maybe Imam Al-Mahdi, will <laughs> <Mahdi. laughs> we'll go in uh -huh. and take a name out. Okay. And the name that's chosen mm. will be taken to Karbala with a group, as well as some funds to go towards your plane tickets, unless no. you never know someone that lives in Karbala one. Yeah, which fair. Which we might do just to save some money. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the viewers at home are probably thinking, this is a very hard show. They're probably thinking, you know, should I call in? Should I not? Yasser, why should they call in? Is it a hard show? Mullah Rashid, I, I'm, I don't... I can't answer that question without getting upset with you. Because, because the questions mean you have seen them over and over exactly. and over no, and over them. again. I want you to tell them. The questions are so easy. It just needs you to be confident for you to be a lover of the Hell and Bait mm. to know the answers to these questions. Some of them are like, who's born in the Kaaba? I'm yeah, not yeah. going to say the answer. Yeah, yeah. But come on now. If you don't know that answer, come on. What are you doing? <laughs> the other question is like, the Quran is revealed in the Arabic language. Yeah. We're in Shah Ramadan. <laughs> you should be in your fourth juzu. Yeah. W what language are you reading the Quran in? You know, it's about logic as well as the love you have for the Ahlul Bayt, Mullah. And I honestly believe that all the viewers on Imam Hussein TV3 love the viewers. Uh, I love the Ahlul Bayt. Yeah. So, just to quickly um, uh, uh, vacuum what I said, okay. is that last episode, walk us through what happened. So, quickly, I'm going to walk you through quickly because our first call is actually ready, by the way. Oh, yeah. already? Yeah, yeah, already. Allah People Allah are on it. Muhammad, but so I'm going to quickly go to it just before... Just before we quickly go to our caller, just a quick walkthrough. What happened last time is we started the show, people called in. You have seven questions, only mm. seven questions. They're pretty fairly easy questions. We should know them. Mm. Once you finish the seven questions, your name gets put in a hat, the team contacts you, and you possibly have the chance to go to Karbala. It's as simple as that. Honestly, if you guys at home are not calling in, then I don't know what you guys are doing. And Mullah, but is it only for some people in London? or is it No, worldwide. Mashallah. Worldwide, whether you're in Brazil, Canada, USA, Portugal, France, Spain, Colombia, you, Colombia as well, oh, yes. you guys can call in. So please do call in, guys. Everyone watching at home, I want to hear many more calls, inshallah. Anyway, we're going to go to our first caller, by the way, because they are ready. So we're going to go straight in. So first caller, if you can please hear me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. 
MashaAllah, MashaAllah. How are you doing today, brother? You okay, inshaAllah? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, all well, well, and you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, very well, thank you, man. Yasser, Alhamdulillah, doing very well. How was your iftar today? What did you have for iftar today? Uh, so today's iftar was pretty, pretty simple with um, sausage rolls and a kebab lasagna, a health, healthy enough. kebab lasagna. Yeah, nice, very nice, very nice. MashaAllah. And just finally, before we head into the questions, I wanted to know what is your name, brother, and where are you calling from? My name is Shabir Isop. I'm, I'm calling you from Durban, South Africa. Oh, nice. South Africa, mashallah. South Durban, Africa. Yeah, yeah, South Africa. Mashallah. I said some. Good way to yeah. start because we said it's worldwide. <laughs> so, um, Baba uh, Shabir? Shabir, Shabir. Shabir. Um, um, just to quickly wrap up what I was saying before, about four to five minutes ago, is that do you know how the show works? Do you know what we're about to take you through? Yes, definitely. I mean, I actually set an alarm. alarm. It's 1.30 a.m. in South Africa. We're actually wow. three hours away away from our school ending. So I set an alarm to wake up just oh, to oh, enter wow. today. That is determination. That is determination. That I, I'll give you that. And you know what? I might make sure you win because you said that to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Baba Shabir, with the permission of Rashid <laughs> yes, and the of permission course. of the AV team, we're going to go straight into it to not waste any time because I'm pretty sure you want to go back to sleep. <laughs> so, AV team. So if I win, I don't know if I get people again, but Bismillah, uh, inshallah, Labbaik ya Hussein. Labbaik ya Hussein. So, brother, uh, just to make sure, are you watching on YouTube? Okay, so I've got the YouTube on and, and I'm talking to you on my phone. It's on, it's on the TV, but it's, uh, there's a bit of a delay. delay. Yes. So I'm listening to you. Yes. But, uh, so the delay is about 10 seconds. seconds. So some <laughs> questions we have, um, you're going to have to look at your TV screen to see the picture. It might be a puzzle, guess the word. But for some other questions, I can just ask you them live because you don't really need to look at it, if that's fine of you. Okay, inshallah. Perfect. So the first question will be asked by the great, the king, the melik. Mullah Rashid Haidar. <laughs> right, straight into it. Brother Shabir, the first question is, the Quran is divided into 30 equal parts, known as a juz. Is it true or is it false? Very simple stuff. you got 30 seconds. Yeah. Count it down. <laughs> Did you say it's true? Yeah. Right, he said it's true. We're going to lock that in now, AV team. Can we confirm this is true? And we can. Wow. <laughs> First question is right. Yeah, yeah. First step is completed. Done. Brother Shabir, as you can see, it's pretty easy. You don't need to be scared. You don't need to be nervous. You just started at the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam in Najaf. And now we virtually take you to Wad salam the biggest Shia cemetery in the world. A part that you have to walk through to get to Karbala, i.e. heaven on earth. Your second question or your second step is, what is the meaning of... Of the word Quran, is it one guidance or is it mercy, recitation or is it light? Brother Shabir, did you hear the question I just asked? Brother Shabir? Okay. Quran, yeah, yeah, I'm going to go with recitation. Recitation number three, are you sure? Yeah, because it's Hudalina, so it's also also guidance. Mashallah. Okay, I like I like the way he's thinking. Yeah. How how confident he is. So AV team, can we lock in number three, please? Mashallah. Ascent. Second step, seven, second Ascent. question is done. Mullah Rashid. Yeah. Third Straight step? in to the third stage, where you find us at the Imam Hussein TV Studios at pole number three one three. Mashallah. What a location! Right. Let us wait for the question to load up. Ah. <laughs> right, Brother Shabir, the third question. Guess the Noha reciter. On your screen, you're going to see when it comes up, there's a blurred picture of a mm. reciter. And it can be either one of the four options. Is it Mullah Jalil Karbalai? <laughs> is it Mullah Rashid Haider? Is it Nadim Sarwa? Or is it Mullah Nazar Al Qatari? Who could this mystery reciter be on your screen? You have 26 uh, seconds. I, 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 it has to be my wife's favorite. Ali Ali Mola, Ali Ali Mola, Ali Ali Mola, Ali. Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. He said. 
Ahsan, he's in Mulalizar Qatri. Let's just lock it in, AV. You know what? I would ask if you're sure, but you just recited the most yeah, famous yeah. recitation by Mullah Nazar, so you're pretty much correct. AV team, can we lock that in? MashaAllah. And that's the third step, Mullah. That is the third We're step. We're actually getting through this quite quick. From the third step, we virtually like to take you now to what we call in Iraq, a mokim. So, AV team, if we can get the graphics on the roll, we leave the Imam Hussein TV studios, and then we go to my favorite bit of the whole series, <laughs> the Mercedes van. Yeah, random Mercedes van. <laughs> <laughs> Big up the... the, the um, on the walk, I, I never I saw a Mercedes van. Mercedes <laughs> van. <laughs> I don't remember ever. I never saw a Mercedes van on the, on the no, walk. Don't worry, brother. Beautiful. That's why we're showing you it here live on Imam Hussein TV 3. Your fourth question <laughs> is, who was the first woman mentioned by name in the Holy Quran? Was it... Asya, Maryam, Hawa, or Khadija. 30 seconds is on the clock, Brother Shabir. So, 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 Khadija is not mentioned by name in the Quran. Mm -hmm. That brings me down to three options. Mm -hmm. now, now, Asya was, I'm, I'm going to go with you, Maryam. <laughs> so, you want to lock in Sayyidah Maryam, Salamullah Alayha. Are you sure? You still have five seconds. Uh, uh, yeah, Bismillah. Let's, let's lock it in, Bismillah. AV team. Ah, Mullah Rashid, do you want to break the news? Unfortunately, brother Shabir, that is wrong. The first woman mentioned by name in the Holy Quran was actually Hawa. So unfortunately, brother Shabir, that means that your journey ends here. However, on the bright side, no, it it's not fully over. It, it, means, <coughs> it means I set another alarm for 130 a.m. tomorrow morning and try again. <laughs> exactly. He knows. He knows. He's amazing. He, he is. He's he's solid. Solid. Brother arms, Shabir, if you don't head, call him tomorrow, you're going to upset me. Car, car, Brother Shabir, nah, nah, honestly, I will. please call in again. And this is just a message to the viewers that just like Sh uh, Brother Shabir just now got to the fourth step, the fourth question, he didn't quite get through, mm. but he's still determined. He'll call in again. He's not going to let that nervousness or that scared feeling he has in his heart take over. But rather, he's going to take on the challenge head straight again tomorrow. Thank yes. you so much, Brother Shabir. Please pray for me in South Africa. And inshallah, you are invited to the Holy Shrines in Iraq very, very soon. Inshallah. inshallah. Ilahi, ameen. Ilahi, ameen. Ameen. You guys do the same and keep up the great work. work. Inshallah. Thank you so much, Brother Shabir. Khuda Hafiz. Brother Mullah Rashid, yes. that's the first person on live. <clears throat> and what's the one thing I hate to start I with? I just hate people go home. Yeah. I say go home, but... He was always at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just upsetting that, you know, they're going so fast, they keep getting it right and right and yeah. right. And then that one little mistake they yeah. make. And that's that, it, really. That was a pretty <clears throat> hard one, to be honest. Because the Mariam is mentioned a lot, but who was the first to be mentioned? Yeah. Mashallah, but big but of ups. Of course, at least to everyone at home, and this is a lesson that everyone at home can learn, is that it's not the end of your journey. Just because you called in today and you haven't gotten through to the final step, doesn't mean that your journey ends here, by the way. You can still call in. We are on four times a week, for those people that might not know, four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Mashallah. That's it. Memorize there it. You I love go. it. There you go. Four times a week. So please call in, and inshallah, we'll see Brother Shabir on tomorrow. But... Yeah, Mr. Yasser, talk to me. How was your day today? How was, you know, fourth day of Ramadan? You know, the more days I'm going into Shah Ramadan, the more I remember why this is such a blessed month. Mm. That, you know, the first day, second day, you know, you're still in the blues. You're scared. Oh, I'm going to have to fast. I'm going to wake up early. Yeah. I'm going to be tired. But then you remember mm. the doors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy is open to all. Yeah. It's a free for all. I can ask God for anything yeah. and the door is open. You know, I use this uh, um, methodology a lot, that this metaphor, that when you make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's almost like knocking on a door mm. and then you wait for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open the door to see your request. And then it's up to his gloriness to glorification to see if he'll give it to you mm. or not. Yes. But in this month, I'm not knocking on the door. The door's open. Yeah. I just need to go in and ask. Yeah. 
So why are people not taking this opportunity? Exactly. Because and I love how in Ramadan, for example, you can ask absolutely anything. Yeah, of course. Anything. Like, a dua can be something that you wouldn't think in a million years can be accepted. Yeah. But in this holy month of Ramadan, never know. Allah makes anything possible. You'll never know. And with that, Brother Yasser Ahsent, we have our next caller. We have our next caller on the line, I believe so. Caller number two, if you can hear me, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother, uh, um, the AV team, if you can just help us out, we did not hear him on the speaker. Testing, testing, one, two, two, three. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm loving this. Brother, your name and where you're calling from? Ibn Muthanna, East London. Ibn, Ibn Muthanna, East, East London. London. Okay. That's it. Okay, mashallah, Ibn Muthanna. From East London. East well, London. Actually, that's where you're residing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. He's putting a bad name on us yeah, so far. But yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's hope that East Londoners know their Islamic knowledge. They do. They Inshallah. do. East London is one of the best places in London. If you say so. Ibn <laughs> Muthanna, um, before we start, quick question. What did you have for Fatur today? I'd like to ask that question. Yeah. I had, had, uh, had Kapsa and then KFC after. Kapsa and KFC, or well, KFC is boycott, so shame on you. But let's get straight <laughs> into the show. Seven Steps to Heaven is a quiz show, Ibn Muthanna, where we take you virtually from Imam Ali alayhi salam's shrine all the way to his son buried in Karbala. So, AV team, can we get the show on the road? Wow. Ahsan. Ahsan Allah. Today you're flying, Yasser. Mullah Rashid, I'm excited. I love the Dasha, by the way. Thank you. Mullah Rashid, One I love yours. One of the grey is, is you're killing it. Baby blue. <laughs> Waterproof. <laughs> you're killing it. <laughs> Mullah Rashid, can you explain to Ibn Muthanna where we are? Virtually? Right. So, we are currently going to start at the shrine of the commander of the faithful. Amir al Mu'mineen Ali bin Abi Talib. Salawatullah. Alim Allah. Alim Allah. Alim Allah. So, inshallah, we're going to start at the shrine of Amir al Mu'mineen. We were going to go through seven questions, insha'Allah, and you, Ibn Muthanna, have the chance to go to Karbala, insha'Allah. I can't wait. So, I can't wait. Thank we're going to start with the first question. The first question, Ibn Muthanna, is the Quran prohibits the consumption of alcohol. Is this true or is this false? 30 seconds. Ooh. The way now. you answer Ooh. this question will determine how I judge you, Ibn Muthanna. So let's see. Is that true <laughs> or false? Um. Ibn Muthanna? Did the Quran prohibit the consumption of alcohol? Mullah Rashid, do you think you can answer this confidently? Is it true? Is it true? Well, you we have four seconds left, so I can't even ask you if you're Bruce, sure. Lock in, Bruce, let's lock in. do it. And it is true, mashallah ta'ala true. Rahman. Mullah Rashid, yes. how do you feel about that? Ibn Muthanna, East London, first question out the First way. question, he's, he's, he's making East London proud. Yes, yes, he he's sure is. He's making the best part of the world proud. Yeah, wow, straight in, okay. In questions. Straight in with the hard quest questions. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Um, second question, yes. did you ask it or me? I asked the first question, okay. so you're on the second one. So the second question, Ibn Muthanna, I ask, in which month? Was the Quran first revealed? Mm. Was it Shahar mm. Rajab or Sha'ban or Shawwal or Shahar Ramadan? Again, we are on the fourth uh, day of Shahar Ramadan, so this answer should be very easy because it's one Quranic verse that is used throughout the whole I'm month go with to give the answer. To this. I'm going to go with Ramadan, lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it well, AV team, right. you heard him. <laughs> All right, mate. I understand right. from, you're from East London. Yeah, yeah. Easy, 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 yeah? easy mate. Calm down. <laughs> well, you need to chat to your boy, please. <laughs> He's from East London. We don't accept this I have no clue who he is, <laughs> but I would like to meet you. Yes, yes. Let's lock that He's in, locked AV in. team. Lock it in, AV team. Let's go. Oh. Straight in. Shahar Ramadan. Can you finish the Quranic verse? Shahar Ramadan. Alladhi unzila feehim. Quran. Quran. Where are we now, Mullah? We are currently at the studios of Imam Hussein TV3 on the walk towards Karbala, poll number 313. Wow. Okay. Right. So, Ibn Mufanna, your third question, um, if you are watching, 
will be essentially guess the reciter. What happens is you're going to get a blurry picture of someone and you have to guess who it is. So you have four quest four options, not four questions, four options. The first, is it Farhan Ali Waris? Is it Mir Hassan Mir? Is it Nadim Sarwar? Or is it Misam Abbas? Who is this mystery reciter that we have on the screen? Hmm. Your 30 second countdown begins now. This is a pretty Easy one. Yeah. I think. Uh, well, well, I think I, I think he's a guy who looks Pakistan. Okay. They're all Pakistan. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's okay. go with uh, Sayyid Misam. Okay. Sayyid Misam. You have ten seconds. Are you yeah. sure you want to? Uh, look are you that sure? In? I think so. Oh, it might. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's stop that in, AV team. Oh yes. Straight in. East London's making me proud East today. East London is big. For the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't do I'm, my place like I'm that, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, Mullah Rashid, our favourite place. Yes. The Audi A... What Audi is that? Audi that, A5? That's like Audi A5. Yeah, Audi A5. And a random Mercedes Mercedes-Benz <laughs> Mercedes -Benz on the walk. Shout out to them. Shout out to the AV team for getting the accurate <laughs> picture. And your next question is... Who is considered the angel of revelation in Islam? Is it one Israfil? Is it Mikael? Is it Jibrail? Or is it Munkar? Ibn Mufanna? Ibn Mufanna? He's still here? Yeah? Right, I'm gonna go go with. Um... Think of it, who, who have you heard throughout your whole life right. as, the, man, as the angel, angel that Jibrayim. gives revelation to the angels, to the, to the prophets? Angel, angel, Jibrayim. Are you sure? You have five seconds, you can change it if you like. I'm pretty sure about that one, that one, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, Yali, let's lock yeah. that in. Lima. That's the one, one. that's the one. Huh. I have no clue what you read, Ali, but... Ali, Mawla, Ali, Ali, Mawla, Ali, Ali, Mawla, Ali, 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 Mawla, Ali, 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 Mawla, Ali, 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 Mawla, Ali, 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 Mawla. Where are we now, Mawla? We are currently at a mawqib on the walk between Najaf and Karbala. And on your... Okay, we've just got a... Okay. Announcement? Oh. Oh, okay. We changed the setup a bit. Why not? Fair enough. Right, so, Ibn Muthanna, your next question is guess the word. Right now, you have one, two, three, four, five letters, and you have to jumble them properly, mm. and you have to tell us what this spells. Mm. So, Ibn Muthanna, when you're ready, let us know. Right, so I don't think Iraq BB is not a word. Iraq B is not a word, unfortunately. No. It's not. <laughs> the thought process uh, is amazing. Do you know what? I'm honest, it's interesting. Nah. I think it's close. You've got me here, boys. Um, I'm flipping off. Um, A V T. It's like we've got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with uh, Barker. With what, sorry? Barker. Yeah. Barker. Barker. Very, 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 very nice. So that, that was me. the fifth step, I believe. Fifth step, if I'm not mistaken. So yes. now we take you to the sixth. Yes. Where you will be welcomed by the great, beautifully built and constructed Imam Hussein TV studio headquarters in Karbala. And your sixth question is, which surah is also known as the cow? Is it Al-Ma'ida? Is it al Nahr? Is it Al Insan or is it Al Baqar? You have 25 seconds right. on the clock, so brother. I think Kal, I think Kal means Baqar in Arabic. Are you uh, sure? Is that what you want to look in? Yeah. 10 seconds. Right. We're going to have to go with that one at one point. So, the Baqar Baqar. Surah Baqarah. Fair enough. Right then, let's just lock that in. He said Baqarah to one. Is he right? Wow. Six steps out of the way. That means we are at the final oh, yes. step. This is the final step? Before Karbala, which is i.e. Heaven. 
on earth. MashaAllah, Tabarak al Rahman. And with that, well, looking at the shrine, we go into another one. Hussein Mawla, Mawla, 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 Hussein Mawla, Mawla. Mullah Rashid, do you want to ask this question? Bismillah. Go for it. Are you sure? Go for it, bro. Oh, what an honor. Go for it. Ibn Muthanna, in front of you, you are going to see a puzzle where there is six images not in the correct place. Can you please reconstruct it, put the puzzle in its correct place, put the picture in the correct position? The AV team has been very nice to give you already a first clue. Can you do the rest by yourself? So I'm gonna do, do D, D as one, one, D F one, two, two, D one, F, F two, F two. I like how he's doing it the wrong way. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yes, Ibn Muthanna, your time has finished. So I'm going to ask you for your final answer now, please, so or forever then, then hold your with, peace. I'm gonna go with A. Four? Oh no, sorry, sorry, C, C. Huh? What? C, C. C, four, three. No, C, C, three. Yep. Um, wait, wait sorry, C, A, C, A, A. C, A. Wait, wait, wait. Ibn Muthan, are you sure about these decisions? <laughs> No, so C A C A C what? I I think he's I think the time is finished. Three A three three A three. A. I think no, I'm sorry, Evan Mavanda, your time is up. Your time is up, mate. It was wrong, unfortunately. Oh. Which means that your journey on the last step as well. Two people in a row. Yeah, have yeah. Failed. That's just making me sad. We might as well end the live here. I've been Yasa. <laughs> la, 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 la. No? No. Should no. we carry on? No, no, no. We've got to find someone today. He's going to make the seventh step. I feel like someone from America. Yeah, yeah. Like ah, America, it's... Canadian. Ah. They're, they're, yeah, no, yeah. they make us proud. They do. But it seems like East London, like always, <laughs> doesn't make us proud. <laughs> so thank you so much, David Mutenda, for calling. We appreciate it. Before the next caller is called and brought to the show, Mullah Rasha, let me ask you something. Talk to me. Ibn Muthanna, East London. Yeah. That's where you're yeah. born and bred. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, what happens in East London? Like, do you have classes there? No, is Islam a thing there? That wasn't even anything to do with this. Oh, this is oh. a picture, huh. which technically, I mean, he, listen, we have everything, okay? We've Mashallah. got everything. you got the food that I know that for sure. You, you know this. Yes. And yes. I've taken you to very good spots. And by the way, there's even more new spots I've opened up. Ramadan, there's always gems that come up. So, so what you're telling me is after today, you're, we're going to go out. To after eat. today, 1 a.m. We're going to go out. We're hitting well, something. If for the winner that wins today, if you're in London, me and Mullah Rashid personally invite you to wherever we're going. If he wins. Yeah. Or she. Ah. Is the second, is the next caller confirmed? Bismillah wa billah is the next uh, caller confirmed. Okay, whilst that's happening, Mullah Rashid, yeah. um, just so you know, pass some time. Do you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Okay. And then we should have like a little forfeit, maybe something for the viewers. Forfeit is yeah, the yeah. person recites. <laughs> Bismillah. Quran. Oh, okay, that's fine. Let's go. Taha, first 20 verses off my heart. <laughs> Are you ready? Each mistake, 20 pounds <laughs> to charity. You might be saying charity. I said. On shoe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Up to three. We always <laughs> fail up to what three. What do you mean? We always fail. Well, since when? <laughs> you know we fail up to three. <laughs> Don't get, why are you getting nervous? <laughs> getting a bit shaky in that. <laughs> you know what? I'll do the full fit after. Just me and you privately. I didn't say it on the TV. Yeah, okay, fair Yeah, enough. why not? Fair enough. Um, Mullah Rashid. Yeah. 
walk you through Shah Ramadan. We're getting closer to that al Qadr, yeah. which are the best nights of my life. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most in that al Qadr? What dua, maybe what amal, maybe you're going to spend it with someone special like your father or yeah. your mother. Walk me through that. So this year, actually, I'm not going to be in London. Wow. For Laylat al Qadr, inshallah, I'm going to be traveling up north to the glorious community of Manchester. Wow, uh, well, inshallah. second best city in the United Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Inshallah, so I'm going to be up there. Um, and to be honest, I look forward to serving the community, not just serving the community, but getting the chance to recite a lot of du'as. For example, I think one of my favorite du'as in Layl Qadr is Dua Joshan. Mm. Because, you know, not only do you like to split it up, you know, not one person reads a hundred. Yeah, yeah, Because that is a bit much. Dead. But, um, you know, it's nice to get the community members involved. Mm. They get involved, they recite together, and it's nice. Mm. And, you know, and I think this is something that we should continue to do. 100%, inshallah. May Allah let us live as long as he wants us to. And may we always recite Dua Josh and Kabir, inshallah, five times a day for the rest of our lives. Say, Ameen. Ameen. Yeah, this is the next caller. The I think we do have a next caller. AV team is the next caller. Already? Yes. Yes, okay. In. So should we start by saying yo or maybe salam? La, la, salam. Salam alaikum wa rahma wa ikram. Day caller, can you hear me? Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Dear sister, please tell me your name and where you're calling from. Brother, I'm call calling from Bangladesh, Dhaka. Oh, nice. My name is Sayyid Asad of Fatima. I called here next year and the previous years also. And I'm going twice, twice, alhamdulillah. Oh, mashallah. mashallah. So you should be a pro at this, inshallah. I don't know. This time I'm a really, little bit nervous. God, this, this time is a little bit different. Mm. But hope for the best. Tawakkal to Allah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Well, because you said you've called the previous year and the year before that, you should, <laughs> I don't think it's worth explaining anything to you. So I'm going to tell the AV team and the viewers to put on their seatbelts because we're going to take you through a ride. Sister Sadaf, inshallah you're watching through YouTube. On your screen you should see virtually the shrine of Mola Ali, alayhi salam. And your first question will be asked by me. And the question shall be, the Quran describes the creation of Adam and Hawa. Is that true or false? You know, we hear many stories of Nabi Adam and Sayyidah Hawa. Are those stories from I'm, the Holy I'm not Quran? seeing anything in the screen. The, the, That's fine, Sister now Sadaf. I can, I'm yeah. asking you the question, is the Quran, does the Quran describe the creation of Nabi Adam and Hawa, is that true or false? Does it? Does it not? You have eight seconds to answer the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This described. True, true. True, 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 true. She said it yeah, twice. Yeah, that, yeah. Is, that, that means it must be true. Sister Sadaf, mashallah, you got that correct. Tabarak al Rahman. Mullah Rashid, where are we going now? We are going to the largest cemetery in the world, huh? Yes. There you go. Shia cemetery, actually. Largest Shia cemetery in the Masha world. Wad as salam. Mm. And on your second question, which should pop up now, which surah is considered to be a cure for spiritual and physical ailment? Ailments. Ailments. Is it Surah Waqi'ah? Is it Surah Mulk? Is it Surah Rahman? Or is it Surah Fatih? 30 seconds has lasted. Of course, of course, between the physical elements. Uh, I'm confused. I just saw a Fatiha. Surah Fatiha. Are you sure you want to lock that in? This is the same as something. Yeah, yeah, this is my gut feeling that I'm. Because uh, in every day, I say Surah Fatiha when we feel fever or anything that. That's so, AV oh. team, let's lock in Surah Al Fatiha. Oh, no, 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 so soon. Ah. Sister Sayyida Sada Fatima, yes, calling us all the way from Bangladesh. Unfortunately, that was not the correct answer. But fortunately, so that was Surah Rahman. It was Surah Rahman, yes. 
the sword oh of your mercy. But Sister Sayyidah Sadaf, fortunately for you, my heart and Mullah Rashid's heart is so big and so loving that we will let you call us again tomorrow. And even on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, hell, call us on Thursday. Even though we're not live on Thursday, call us and we'll <laughs> let you go through again, inshallah. <laughs> so Sister Sayyidah Fatah Sadaf, please... Don't be disheartened. We will let you be on this show again. Mm -hmm. Not next year, but the next time we're live. And please do call in again because we want you to win for the third time, inshallah. Inshallah for the inshallah. best. Inshallah. Please pray for us, sister Sayyidah Sadaf, and Khuda Hafiz. <clears throat> Khuda Hafiz, Khuda Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz, Hafiz, Okay. Yes. Mullah Rashid. Yes. That was the third caller we've had. That is the third caller. And, and we still haven't reached. You know what? I'm telling you haven't. this. I'm going to say this publicly. The next caller that calls in, I'm going to cheat and let him win. Just for fun. Oh, okay. Just decided. Yeah, just decided. Okay. I, and there's someone in my ear saying, yeah, I'm still going to do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they said no, but yeah, she's still I'm doing still it. Do okay. Fair enough then. So Brother Yasser. Rahim Brother Yasser Mansour has said, so whoever's at home watching. Yasser Hilfi. Like Mustafa Hilfi, my cousin. My apologies. Habibi, Mullah Rashid. Habibi. Min, min Ali Muhammad. <laughs> Habibi. Brother Yasser Al Hilfi mm. has basically given a cheat code to everyone at home. Yeah. So. For the next school, huh? Yeah, yeah, for the next school. You've won. So, I don't know how many people are watching. I can't really tell, but whoever's watching at home, please call in because this, this is. Ha, 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 okay. Oh. Okay, right then. The They're quarter. just shouting in my ear saying we have lots of calls and people are ready. So, AV team, we're just going to go straight to it. Um, and yes, we are now going to welcome the next caller on the line. So, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing today, sister? I am doing good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Very well, thank you. Well, we just want to know where are you calling from and what is your name? I'm calling from Bradford and I'm Dua for Fatima. Ah, Bradford. Ascent. Bradford, one of the best places in the United Kingdom one might find where I think most of it is just Muslims, isn't it? It is pretty Mashallah. much. Allah. Good food as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Very good food. Sister Dua Fatima. First of all, that is a beautiful name, sister. And I want to thank you for calling Seven Steps to Heaven. Just to ask two questions. The first is, are you watching us on YouTube? Yes, yes, I am. Alhamdulillah, Tabarak rahman Second, do you have work tomorrow? Nope. Perfect. Because it's it is student. pretty late. It's about 12. 12, 10. 12, 12 11, 11. With 23 seconds on the clock. Yes, Not like I don't have a clock right in front of me. <laughs> Sister Da'a, I'm going to take you straight into the system. And where we will take you on a ride from Mawla Ali's shrine in Najaf. All the way to Karbala. And Sister Dua, please believe me. Me and Mullah Rashid are rooting for you because we have not had a single winner yet today. Yes, that is true. That is true. We haven't had a winner today. Um, so I think, you know, it's ready. Yeah. It's ready and we are going to find our winner tonight. And I think, you know, with the barakat we have today, mm. Mullah Rashid starts. That's the it. First question, okay, straight in. Sister Dua Fatima, your first question. Is the Quran was compiled into a single book during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family? Is this question true or is it false? Your timer has now begun. So, Sister Dua Fatima, let us know. Is it true? Is it false? The answer is it's false. It is false. It is, uh, are you sure, Sister uh, Dua Fatima? You have 15 seconds left? Yeah. I'm sure it's false. Bismillah, let's knock in false. Ya Ali Madad. Ya Ali Madad. Let's lock it in, AV team. MashaAllah. Tabaraka. Rahman. We now take you from the holy shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam to Wadi Salam, the biggest Shia cemetery in the whole green earth. And your second question, Sister Dua, is what is the name of the mountain where the Quran was first revealed to Prophet Muhammad 
صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم was it Mount Uhud was it Mount Arafat was it Mount Hira or was it Mount Sinai 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 yeah. You know what? People make mistakes. Yeah, it's fine, no. And I own it with all my heart. Thank <laughs> you for correcting me. And may Allah correct us all with our English language. Sister Dua, did you hear the question? Mount Hira. Mount, sorry? Mount Hira. Mount Hira. Mount Hira. Mount Hira. Mm. Do you want to lock that in, sister? You have eight seconds if you want to change your mind. Yes, I want to lock it. Let's lock it in, AV team. I'm loving the confidence from Sister Dua. It's probably because she's from Bradford, one of the best places in the whole country. Would you disagree, Wanda? No, no. How, how could I? <laughs> yeah, how could I? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Just to make sure. Where are we? We are currently at the Imam Hussein TV3 studios in between Najaf to Karbala on poll number three, one, three. MashaAllah. Right. Into the third question. Sister Dua Fatima, on your screen... Uh, when it comes up, you're going to see a blurred picture of a certain location, okay? And you essentially have to tell us, out of the four options, which the location is. Mm. So, is it Imam Hussein's shrine? Is it Imam Rida's holy shrine? Is it the Kavamain holy shrine? Or is it Hazrat Ma'asuma's holy shrine? Out of the four... Imam Rida's holy, holy shrine. Wow. Okay. Very fast. <laughs> She's very not messing confident. about. <laughs> She's not messing about. You know what? I just want to let the viewers know. I knew I told you that the next person I'm going to help them cheat. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't even had the chance to yeah. help them cheat. Because <laughs> she knows all the answers. <laughs> AV team, let's lock in the holy shrine of Imam Rada. Salam Allah And it's what? It's just correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just correct. She's come to win. She's not messing yeah, about. Yeah, she's not messing about. Yeah, yeah, she wants yeah. to go to Mawla Hussein. <laughs> Um, that was the third step, I believe. Third step. And now we're and going now to the Mercedes Benz <laughs> and the Audi A5. Big up to the Audi. Um, and the, your next question is... So random. Yeah, honestly. So as follows. Which surah is known as the daybreak? Was it Surah Al-Qadr? Is it Surah Al-Falaq? Is it Surah Al-Kawthar? Or is it Surah Al-Duha? Sister, there are 23 seconds on the clock. What surah is known as the daybreak? You have four options. Please pick the correct one so I can put you through to the fifth step towards heaven. <coughs> I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear you. Al Qadr. Al Qadr. Sister Fatima, Sister Dua, before we answer, let me just help you out. Mm. Do you want to. <laughs> I can't you say. Confirm that, Sister, sister Dua. Um. You know what? Sure. Let's help her out. Let's help her out. Yeah? AV team, if we can remove one option, please. Why not remove? Yeah. Okay. okay. Make it a bit easier. We've now got three options. So Surah Falak is gone. We now have Surah Kawthar left, Surah Duha, and Surah Qadr left. Sister Dua Fatima, do you still want to keep your answer or do you want to change? Um, I will want to change to no, wait, no, 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 no. It's all right. Take your time. Take your time. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with Al Qadr. You're gonna stick with Al Qadr, yeah? Okay. 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 Oh. Are you? Well, Rashid, you have to break the news because my heart can't take this. But I, I, uh... Wait, can I? Do something can i just say something okay yes i thought an unfilic was daybreak um no so a duha in arabic means daybreak uh. um av team can someone talk in my uh um sister dua 
I'm going to repeat. Sister Dua, I'm going to give you some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that you have not gone through in today's show. However, the good news is me and Mullah Rashid are live tomorrow at 11.30 p.m. And correct me if I'm wrong, there is no time difference in Bradford. <laughs> <laughs> so inshallah yeah, yeah. for 11.30 for you too, you will be live again tomorrow. Call in, say that you are Sister Dua Fatima and that you called in today. And we'll make sure that we take you on and give you another chance at taking your seven steps to maybe get to heaven on earth, Karbala. But we really appreciate okay. your call today. Thank you so much. Please say salams mm -hmm. to your family. Pray for me and Mullah Rashid. But make sure I'm first. And <laughs> Khuda Hafiz. <laughs> right. Again, we just still haven't had someone win. <clears throat> is, is it harder today? I don't know. What is it? What do you think it is? I think maybe they didn't have enough food for Futur. I don't know. We haven't heard it. Well, one guy, he said he had... What did he have? He had sausage rolls. But how many sausage rolls can you eat to become full? I'm thinking about 12. <laughs> no, no, no. No? no. <laughs> no? no I've never 12. had sausage rolls. Bro, 12. I've never had That's sausage rolls. That's a lot of sausage rolls, bro. Oh, what is a sausage roll? Is that so what you get from Greg's? It's sausage, pastry. They're nice. They're nice. Okay. Yeah, but you know. Maybe you, you should invite me to them one day. No, sure. Well, one day, me and you. You've never invited me anywhere. <laughs> You've come nice. to my house on how many times? There you go. Ah, sent. Anyway. Bismillah. We've, <laughs> we've got our next caller on the line. Um, I was just going to go straight to the next caller. So, caller number four or five. I think four. Five. Five. Four. Five. 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 Caller number five. If you can hear me, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa rashid. Oof, oof, Asad, Habibi, how are you? You okay, inshallah? Well, alhamdulillah, as I promised, I came on the live. Ah. Is, this, is, this, is this the most famous one? Is this my cousin, Mustafa oh. Al Hilfi? Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. Nah, nah, it's nah, not. Nah, nah, nah. Don't tell him who you are. He's going to work out later on. But he plays a very important role in our community. But <laughs> you'll find out later. Okay. No, uh, okay. Oh, I have to ask him for his name. No, no, <laughs> like, don't ask him for his name. It's fine. Okay. He will be mystery man number two. <laughs> mystery <laughs> man number two. I'm guessing because you're friends of Mullah Rashid, you know how this show works. So AV team, let's take him into the system and let's see if he has what it takes to go to Karbala. Inshallah. Inshallah. <laughs> just straight in. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I think I know who it is now. A great man from our community. Yeah, yeah. A young but fruitful man <laughs> yeah. that helps out yeah. in majalis, <laughs> in community work. Um, Make sure every, every mullah's uh, sound is the best. Yeah, yeah. Ensures that every reciter, yeah, nah, uh, including Mullah Rashid's sound, because, you know, raw, it's not nice. But with some effects made by this man, it's nice. <laughs> Your first question is, the Quran contains <laughs> guidance for all aspects uh, of life, including social, legal, and spiritual matters. Is that true or is that false? 30 seconds is in the clock. Um, Brother Haida. That is true. That's true. Well, well, well guess what? I'm not even giving you any second chances. Let's lock that in, AV team. And you are correct. Making this quick and easy, Mullah Rashid, please grab him and take him to the second yes, step. Yes, we are going to take you now from the Shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam to the largest Shia cemetery in the world, Wad al -Salam. And, <clears throat> inshallah, we are now going to load up the second question now. What is the meaning of the word Islam? Is it submission? Is it peace? Mm. Is it worship? Mm. Or is it purity? Mm. <coughs> the word uh, I'm between two. What, what, walk me through your thoughts. Talk to us, talk to us. I'm, I'm between submission and, and peace. Submission and peace, uh, okay. Do you know where the uh, word Islam deprives from? I just, I don't know. But no, I'm. 
say I'm gonna say submission. I'm gonna say submission. You're gonna say submission? Well, let's lock that in. I said, and he's right. He is right, which means we move him on to the third place, which is the studios of Imam Hussein TV3 at poll number 313. Hi, Dad, if you've been watching, you're going to know that this question, you're going to see a blurry picture of a certain location, and you have to tell me yeah. what this location is. Is it the shrine of Imam Hussein? Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Is it the holy shrine of Askariyain? Or is it Medina's holy shrine? What place is this? Your countdown begins now. Yes, it's the uh, shrine of Abu Fadl. Okay. Abu Fadl Abbas. Pretty confident, brother Haydar. <coughs> Pretty Are confident. Are you sure you want to lock that in? You see, you might have said Abu Fadl Abbas is in the shrine, but I'm going to say Abu Fadl Abbas. Well, AV team, you heard brother Haydar. Let's lock that in and see if it's correct. Wow, that is the uh, third step done. Yep, third we step now done. take you to the Mercedes van and the Audi <laughs> A5 to see if you have what it takes <laughs> to get to Karbala. And your question is... 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 Which There's sora... Delay, by the way. Which sora is known as the... Criterion? Criterion? I would have said Criterion, but... Criterion. Let's say same, Criterion. Same thing. Is it Surat Al-Anfal? Is it Surat Al-Furqan? Is it Surah Al-Mujadila? Or is it Surah Al-Ma'oon? 30 seconds. Begin now. Okay, so... You might not be dirty with this one. I can't let her lie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what happened? You know what, brother Haydar? <laughs> because you said that, that, that hurt me. So I'm going to remove one of the <laughs> correct, uh, one of the incorrect answers, and I have removed Surat Al Anfal. Okay. I need your I'm, answer I'm, I'm, I'm now, brother Haydar. If I take a guess and say okay, option number two, Surat Al Furqan. Surat Al Furqan. Bismillah. Google always has the right answers, alhamdulillah. <laughs> now no, we take no, you no, to the no, fifth no, step. No, Brother Haidar, it's okay if you use Google. We it's need okay. to read the rules. <laughs> Google is not against the rules, it's fine. It's okay. Now with no, this never, question, can't, can't. you are at a mokib. So I'm going to wait for... I am going to wait for you to uh, see the word on your screen. It's... It's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's a 16 letter word. Okay. This <laughs> is a 16 letter word, but half of them are missing. Yeah, this is, this is going to be very hard. To <laughs> I, th I think this is a technical difficulty. Yeah, and I it, think there's an issue. Yeah. And while we wait, Haidar, what did you have for iftar? Let's just, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, for iftar. I had, uh, it was a pretty humble, humble star, uh, roast chicken and uh, tim man. Okay. What's tim uh, man for the viewers that don't speak Arabic? Uh, rice. rice. Mashallah, mashallah. And, and obviously, I had to have hakkake, okay, the best part of rice. Hakkake, of course. Okay. And, yeah, well, uh, and I had a little smoothie with you after that, and yeah, we settled it. A smoothie? Very nice. Yeah. yeah well, wow. So went from that's not really humble. Went from humility to you yeah, know yeah, showing yeah. off. To a bit of lavish <laughs> lifestyle. You know, some smooth. What, was, what did the smoothie oh, have? Bro, bro. Yeah. Was it fruity? Was it B uh, very smoothy? Very, 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 very smooth. Wow. Okay. Wow. Being a bit healthy. Yeah. Mm. I respect yeah, it. Enough. I respect fine, it, Brian. Uh, Mulla Rashid, did you see Baba Ahida today? I haven't seen him today, though. Oh. No, no, I haven't. No wonder you're so upset in life because <laughs> you haven't seen the Noor <laughs> from his face. <laughs> Allah, <laughs> Allahumma, <laughs> salli wa sallim, <laughs> wa zid wa barik. I said, ala rasulillah, wa ala... Haydar, 
Ali. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna forget yeah. what's going on here. Haydar. Yeah, yeah. What? Uh, how is Ramadan going for you right now? You know, what is, well, how, well, give me a little uh, breakdown. How a few days have been? Alhamdulillah, um, Ramadan easier than last year. I must say, Alhamdulillah. Obviously, with the early, earlier iftar timings. Mm. But yeah, Alhamdulillah, it's going going well. Um, Reading the Quran. Haidar, Brother Haidar, I wish I I could uh, you know care more about what you're saying, but we're on the fifth step, the fifth <laughs> question, <laughs> and that is Adi. that is um, <laughs> if you look at your screen, if you look at your screen, yeah. <laughs> guess the word is back. We fixed it because uh, we felt sad that it's you know sixteen letter word, so we made it a five yeah, letter yeah. word or six. It's letter a word. Word. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Quick. Very nice. You don't even need a clue. The G Mash and the H gave away. <laughs> Mashallah, brother Haidar, you are amazing at what you do, of course, and that is correct. Mullah Rashid, both, that both was the fifth on, step. Where are we taking them? Six, seven. To the sixth step. Six step. And if I'm not mistaken, the studios of Imam Hussein. TV3. The beautiful building that was built in Karbala in front of the holy shrine of Imam Al Hussein uh, on Shara Al Qibla that someone said. And your next question is Who was the first person to embrace Islam? Mm. Was it Sayyida Khadija? Was it Abdul Muttalib? Mm. Was it Bilal? Or was it Abu Talib? Who was the first person to embrace Islam? Haydar, 30 seconds have begun. <laughs> Inshallah, the 30 seconds go very quickly. Oh, I think 30 seconds, I want like 20. Hey, the Khadija. Alaykum I can't hear what you said, Prophet Haydar, I'm sorry. Say the Khadija. I said say the Khadija, Alaykum Salaam. Inshallah, do you want to lock that in? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, go ahead. Okay, Bismillah. AV team. Wow, that is the sixth step done. And again, we meet someone at the seventh step. Brother Haida, not to make you nervous, but someone was on the seventh step and unfortunately they didn't get through. But I have faith in you. We are in front of the holy shrine of Mawla Hussein. And with that, me and Mullah Haida, Mawla Hussein, Hussein, Mawla Hussein, Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brother Haida, I, I believe you're watching on YouTube. So please let me know when you yeah. can see the image on your screen. We will give you exactly one minute to give me the right answer. If you do not give I'm me the right answer press, press within a minute, unfortunately, you have not reached Karbala. Okay, the, the picture just appeared now on my screen. Okay, so the picture just arrived. So one minute yes. is on the clock. Let's start. And so, um, C6. C6. Okay, we start with a bang. Yep, straight in. Uh, D11. You said C6. Yeah. Yeah? Next? And then, then D1. D1? D1. Um, F5. F5. Nice. nice. E4. E4. Okay. B2. B2. Ah, uh, sorry, B3. I don't mistake it. B3. Okay. And then A2. A2. Ascent. And with that, AV team, can we confirm if that is right? And Allah. Muhammad. Muhammad. We're here. We're here. Finally. We have our first winner. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Alhamdulillah. Brother Haidar was so excited that he ended the call. No, I think he's here. Sajdat al Shukr. Alhamdulillah, I'm still here. I'll do, I'll do uh, Sajjah to Shukr after, <laughs> He's going to do Sajjah to Shukr because he is receiving a beautiful ring made out of the marble of Imam Al-Hussein's shrine as well as being put in a drawer. Mm. And if his name is picked out, what happens? Then he has the chance. No, if it's picked out. Yeah. If it's picked out, then Habib Haidar, you're going to Karbala, my friend. MashaAllah. That's it. That's but only, it. only one condition, though. What? Ah. That's, that's only if you guys are with me. If I get picked up, down, you guys are coming out here. Oh, Inshallah, the producer heard that. And we are invited to Karbala soon with you, Brother Haidar. Inshallah. Thank you so much for calling us. Inshallah. May Allah bless you and your family and your extended family for how 
they raised you. Inshallah, pray for me and Mullah Rashid. But as I always say, pray for me first. Khuda Hafiz, ma'a salama fi amanillah. Mullah Rashid, our first winner. Our first winner. And the next call, I believe. Already, is already. Here. So with that, Mullah Rashid, I say, Waag salamu alaykum to our next caller. Salam alaykum caller. Assalamu alaykum dear caller. Um, dear caller, can you hear me? Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Dear caller, your name and where you're calling from, please. <coughs> My name is Mehdi Jawad and I'm calling from Hull. Your name is Jawad? Mehdi, Mehdi Jawad, Jawad. And you're calling from Hull, mashallah. <laughs> One of the greatest communities that I have ever met yeah, yeah. was actually in Hull. Oh, well, Rashid, I think you've been there. I've before. been to Hull, I've been a few mashallah. times. Mashallah, very it's nice a great community. community. Yeah, yeah. Brother Mehdi, um, may I ask how old you are? I'm 14 years old. 14 years old, mashallah. Calling us at 12.30 a.m. <laughs> Wallah, I can tell the love of Mawla Ali is in your heart. Brother Mehdi, I would love to sit here and talk, but we have so many callers on the line that I want to get to all of them, inshallah. With that being said, I now take you virtually to the shrine of Imam Ali ibn Abi. Talib. Mullah Rashid, mm. as we are at the shrine of Imam Ali, Say salam to your Mawla and after that, say the first question. <laughs> I love his name, by the way. The name is incredible. Hajj Radi, grandson Put everything in there. Yalla. <laughs> question number one. Brother Mehdi, the Quran mentions a story of the Prophet Ibrahim and his son Ismail. Is this true or is this false? In your 30 seconds, is it have true? Is it true? Is it true? Is I don't true? know. I don't know. You, you, you have to tell us. It is true, then. It is true. Okay. He wants to lock in true. AV team. Is this true or is it false? Bismillah. I think without the AV team even there in the snow, 100% it's true. Pretty much. So AV team, can we lock that in anyway? No? Thank you very much. Let's go now to the second step, Brother Mehdi. You walk with us through the buildings to get to Wadi as Salam, biggest Shia cemetery in the world, where your next question will be asked if you get it correct. You are one step closer to getting to Karbala. And the question is, which surah is known as the purity? Is it one, Surah Al-Imran? Is it two, Surah al bayna is it three Surah Al-Fatiha or is it four Surah Al-Ikhlas? Mm -hmm, that's a hard one. That is a hard one to be honest with you. Purity, Ikhlas, <coughs> Bayyina, Fatiha. I'm, I'm going to go with Surah Al-Ikhlas. You're going with Surah Al-Ikhlas. Are you sure? Are you sure? I am positive. Okay, well you have 8 seconds and we shall confirm the right answer at the end of the timer But I would like to let you know that in 1, 0, you are correct Surah Al-Ikhlas was correct MashaAllah Alaik, Tabarak Ar-Rahman That is the second step done Mullah Rashid, where are we going now? <coughs> we are now heading to the studios <coughs> Excuse me, of Imam Hussain TV3 at pole number 313 three. on the walk between Najaf to Karbala. The next question is Mehdi, guess the place. You currently have a blurry picture of a certain shrine and you have four options. Mm. And any one of these options can be any one of these locations. However, you have to tell me which one it is. Is it either Imam Hussein's holy shrine? Mm. Is it Hazrat Zainab's holy shrine? Mm. Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Or is it Imam Ali's holy shrine? Mm. I'm going to go and say the Zainab's holy shrine. Wow. Okay. I'm really confident. I yeah. really like it. Yeah. There's 20 seconds on the clock, Brother Mehdi. Are you sure you want to go with the holy shrine of Sayyidah Zainab? 
I, I am very sure. Wow. Not just sure. Very, very sure. sure. Yeah, he's not messing wow. about. AV team, let's lock in number three and see if brother Mehdi is correct. Okay, let's wait for Naima. And brother Mehdi, <laughs> you are right. Mashallah alaik. That is the holy shrine of Sayyidah Zainab bin Sham. And with that being said, we take you now to the fourth step. Mullah Rashid's favorite place yes. because it has his dream car, the Audi A5 no, no, the in van. navy blue. The van, the van. The van, the, the van. van. The van that's is his dream so car, inshallah. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, your next question is, who is referred to as Khatim al-Anbiya in the Quran? Is it Nabi Ibrahim? Is it Nabi Isa? Is it Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? Or is it Nabi Nuh? Your 30 seconds on the clock has begun. Please I'm going to have to go carefully. with Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Very nice to add that at the end. And with that being said, you have 20 seconds left. Are you sure you want to lock that in? I am 100% sure. Ahsant. Ahsant. Davy team, can we lock that in? Uh, for Nabi Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Almost as nice as you. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Is this my question? It's my I, question I now, is it? It's your question. Mulla. Yes, we now head to a Malkib. I'm not too sure what pole it is, but it's a nice Malkib on the walk between Najaf to Karbala. Mm. This one is guess the word. And mashallah, Mr. Mahdi, I think they looked after you on this one, to be honest. Because it might be the easiest word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got four letters and you have to tell us which one this is. And you know what? The, uh, your 30 seconds has begun. Um, and I'm going to take this very seriously because it should be fairly easy for you to answer this one. Brother Mehdi. It's a very hard one. Mm. Yeah, indeed it is. <laughs> you know, a, a, a double J, a H, what word could it be? But can you confirm your answer, Brother Mehdi? I'm not sure, but it could be Hajj. Hajj? Hajj. <laughs> okay, can we lock that in? And yes, it is right. Allah, that is the right answer. That's it, that's it, that's it. So that is the fourth step, or fifth step. Sorry. Fifth step. He's the getting close. Away. Yeah. Oh my He's god, we close. might have our second winner in a row. And with that being said, the sixth step as we approach it is the holy headquarters of Imam Hussein TV in front of the shrine of Imam Al Hussein. <coughs> Imam Al Hussein. And your question is Oh, yes. Which surah is known as the spider? Is it Surah Al Naba? Is it Surah Al Ankabut? Is it Surah Al Hadid or is it Surah Al Mumtahina? Your 30 seconds. I'm going to go, go with Surah Al Kabut. MashaAllah, Brother Mahdi, I think you have to get this right as you are half or fully Iraqi. So <laughs> let's lock that in with only 50 fully. seconds left. Can we lock that in, AV team? MashaAllah. Six steps is done. That means one last step on the stairs and he gets to possibly go to Karbala. Okay. And on this last one, Brother Mehdi, you have a minute to answer this question. Mm. We are currently at the shrine of Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. And Maula, you have Maula. to. Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula, Hussein Maula, Hussein Maula, Maula. Right then. <laughs> We're going to go straight into it. So, Mehdi, you have a few images and some numbers. You have to match the images to the number and it will form a very nice picture for you. Mm. So, without further ado, you have a minute, Mehdi. And, oh, okay, AV team have just helped you out there. They've given you oh, the no sixth, sixth picture. And your minute begins now. So, Mehdi, when you're ready. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for it to load fully. Oh, oh it hasn't okay. loaded yet. 
maybe the timer can be restarted if that's okay with the AV team then, please. Mehdi, can you please let me know when it is on your screen? Okay. Thank you very I much. I just came on my screen. It just came on your screen, then 60 seconds. Let's go! <laughs> I'm going to go with E1. D1. E1. Oh, E1. 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 E1, he said. E1, sorry. Yep. And then A2. A2. B3. B3. D5. Wait, can I can I change it to? Wait, I'm waiting for it to fully load now, so, so I can see you. Well, you we have 20 seconds left on the clock, brother. Man. Okay. That's a slight error. Here. Option number five has come up twice. Uh, yeah. Brother think... Mehdi, you need to give me your final answer. F4. F4. I think there's a... Yeah, number yeah, five number something. Five. No, no, Same as number not, one. I, no, um, I think that's actually... That might be our fault. That might be our fault. That might be our fault. Because number... AVT. Yeah, A... AVT, the second to last one... Came up twice. AV team, the last two came up twice. If you look at it. Second to last one. Second Can I to change last one. FF23? Number five was there twice. No? Can I change, change F to three? Now, unfortunately, Brother Mehdi, we spoke to the AV team and it seems like, no, actually, you were incorrect. And because the time finished, you can't change anything. But you live in Hull. It seems like... Tomorrow is the weekend, which means you have no school. So you can call us again at 11.30 p.m. tomorrow live and have another shot of winning this glorious ring from the shrine of Imam al Hussein. That's it. That's right. So inshallah, brother Mehdi, don't be disheartened. Call us tomorrow where inshallah you have the chance again to not only win a shrine from, made from the marble of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, but did I say a shrine something? Yeah. <laughs> a ring okay. made from the shrine of, of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. And it's the son of? Imam Ali alayhi salam. Son of? Inshallah. <laughs> huh? Son of? Son of? I didn't hear the first bit. Imam Ali, son of? Huh. Abi Talib. Abu Talib. Talib. with? Abdullah. His son is? Rasulullah. Ahsent. That means Imam Ali and Rasulullah are cousins. Ahsent. I was testing you. MashaAllah. With the crescent move. Crescent move. That You're came out four days You're ago. You're a waffle. You know? We know <laughs> that today is the fourth day of Ramadan. Baba Mahdi, Khuda Hafiz, thank you so much for calling in today. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, let me ask you. Yeah. You're wearing an Apple Watch, mashallah. May it's Allah. dead, by the way. I can't. Yeah, oh, nothing's working. Damn it. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. But Mullah Rashid, mm. b before our next call is announced, let me ask you. Yeah. Are you going to have suhoor today? I'm going to try. I've got work at 8 a.m. Mm. So we'll see if uh, if I wake up in time. Mm. But um, yeah, I think I am. Normally, I keep my suhoor quite light, you know. Mm. I don't like to eat and that much. I normally just have like a date. You never invite me for sahur. So you want to come to East London for sahur? Yes. Yeah. For sahur, why okay. not? Yeah, like tonight then, that's okay, it. Okay, that's it. Well, with that being said, Mullah Rashid, I think I'm getting a feeling in my heart that there is a lover of Ali ibn Abi Talib waiting huh. for us to say, Allahu Assalamu Allah. alaikum, day caller. Wa alaikum salam. MashaAllah, day caller, where are you calling from and what is your name? Uh, my, my name is Zahra, I'm calling from Birmingham. Gum. Sister Zahra, calling all the way from Birmingham. Only the first or second, but third best city in the United Kingdom. Uh, Sister Zahra, have you, do you know how the show 7 Step 7 works? Uh, yeah, I've been watching. MashaAllah. Sister Zahra, before we start, I would like to ask two questions. First, is your family around you to support you for this journey you're about to take? 
My brother, brother's here. Mashallah. So he can give you some moral support. Yep. And your third question <sighs> is, how is Shahar Ramadan so far for you? Is it going well, hard, tough? What's it like? It's okay. Um, yeah, it's going good, you know. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. You know, it's going good. That's, that's good to know. <laughs> well, with that being said, AV team, let's put the VR set on Sister Zahra and take her to the holy shrine of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Haq Mawla. You had a good iftar today, didn't you? Yalla, bismillah. <laughs> My iftar was very good because I ate it facing the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Your first question, Sister Zahra, is the Quran is recited in daily prayers by Muslims around the world. Is that true or false? True. True? I'm not even going to ask you if you're sure or not. AV team, can we lock that in? And true. that is true. Mashallah. Baba Rashid, where are we going now? What did you have after today? Ah, we'll tell you after, inshallah. <laughs> uh, Baba Rashid. Yes, we are currently is going Sister Zahra through. Now? Sister Zahra is currently going through the largest Shia cemetery in the world, mm. which is also known as Wadi Salam. Mashallah. And your second question should have loaded. Should have? Should has loaded. What? Has. Should, has. Should. <laughs> yes, yeah. English is not the one right now. Yes. Anyway, straight in. Second question. How many times is the word Quran mentioned? In the Quran, wow! Is it fifty times? Is it sixty times? Is it seventy times? Or is it eighty times? How many times is the word Quran mentioned in the Holy Quran? Uh, timer has already begun, but if you can restart that one, because I was talking, These guys. Brothers, if we can start the clock again at thirty seconds, please. I want to use my first last of being the host of this show. Can we start it at thirty seconds again, please? Um, Sister Zahra, did you hear Brother Rashid's beautiful words? Uh, yeah, I did. 70, 70 times, please. 70 times? Okay. Mashallah. No need for the countdown. Yeah, no need for the <laughs> countdown. No need for the countdown. 70 times. Let's lock that in. Sister Zahra, you are correct, of course, because, mashallah, you have the love of Sayyida Fatima Zahra in your heart. And surely you are named after her. We now take you to poll 313. In Karbala, where your gateway to Karbala, Imam Hussein TV3 Studios, is based. And we ask you the question, guess the place. I'm going to wait for the picture to appear on your TV. And I'm going to ask you, what shrine is this place? Is it Imam Hussein's holy shrine? Is it Hazrat Ma'suma's holy shrine? Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Or is it the holy shrine of our master? Our father, mm. Imam Al Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam. salam. Just to confirm, Zahra, has that come up on your screen? Uh, uh, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. Well, we'll wait. We'll give it a few seconds. And whilst we wait, we sing a song. Mawla Ali, Ali, Mawla Ali, Ali. Smoke the Ali, tune. Mawla, Mawla, Ali, Mawla, Ali, Ali, Mawla, Ali. Ali, Mawla, Mawla, Ali, Ali. Ya Allah. Has it appeared? Sister has it appeared? Uh, yeah. Okay. And we're in. 30 seconds is on the floor. Somehow we're on 19 seconds. Okay. This is Zahra. Just think about it. Think of the holy shrines that you've memorized. The wallpaper of your phone is probably a holy shrine. Does that look similar? <laughs> if it's not, then you know the answer. Inshallah. Um. Is it Bibi Masumas? Bibi Masuma's holy shrine. Mm. Before we lock that in, what made you think of Bibi Masuma? Um, um, I went to Iran in December. MashaAllah, so you still know how it looks like. And that's what I mean by having the love of Imam Al Jawad alayhi salam in your heart. Well, with that said, the Audi A5 and the Mercedes Benz van in front of us that has rims but no tires, MashaAllah. <laughs> we asked the question. <laughs> Which surah is known as the morning hours? Mm. Is it surah al-asr? Is it surah al-fajr? Is it surah al-feel? Uh, is it surah al-layl? Huh? Huh? Um, I thought you were going to continue. Is it, is it surah fajr? Is it surah fajr? Mm. With 18 seconds left on the clock, are you sure you want to lock that in? Sister Zahra. 
Yeah. Bismillah, ya Nimadet, let's log that in. MashaAllah, Tabaraka Rahman. Ahsent. I put up my hands in prayer and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to let Sister Zahra be the second winner of yes, this show. Yes, inshaAllah. InshaAllah, inshaAllah. With that being said, we go in the Mercedes vans and we drive all the way to Mokib Ahali Karbala where they are serving the Zawar of Imam Al Hussein Salamullah Alayhi. And this is, guess the word. So again, I'm going to wait for, the, for this um, puzzle to show up on your screen. And inshallah, you can let me know if you see it or not. Okay. Let me know. With that being said, Mullah Rashid. Ali Mawla Mawla Ali Mawla Mawla Ali Mawla Mawla Ali Mawla Ali Mawla 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 Sister Zahra has it. Come on. It had has popped up. Perfect. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Because we're very tired, and we don't want to recite all night. But rather pray <laughs> to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sister Zahra, any guesses of what this word can be? Maybe you want some help from our side. No, that was all right. I think it's Hassan. Wow. You I think, didn't hear what she said. You think it's what, sorry? Hassan. Hassan. Wow. Like Imam al Hassan, salamu alayhi kareem ahl al bayt, you are correct. Allah. MashaAllah. And through Imam Hassan, I raise my hand in dua and ask that through his intercession, you win tonight's show and be the second winner of Seven Steps to Heaven 2027. Inshallah. Ascent, ascent. We are very close, by the way. You're only on stage number six, which means there's this one and the next. And then. And that's it. Karbala. Karbala and a ring from Karbala. And a ring, and a ring. That's it. And let's not delay any longer. Question number six, Sister Zahra, is which surah is considered the equivalent of one third of the Quran? Allah. Is it Surah Al Ikhlas? Is it Surah Al Falaq? Mm. Is it Surah Al Kafirun? Or is it Surah Al Fatiha? Which surah is considered the equivalent of one third of the Quran? 30 seconds have begun. To help you, Sister Zahra, uh, so I'll ask the AV team to take one incorrect answer away. Oh, just straight in? Yeah. Let's take it away. La la la, take one away. No, no, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, don't confirm so anything, please, one. guys. I'll remove one, it's fine. Sultan al Kafirun is removed. It's Surah Ikhlas. Surah Al Ikhlas. Are you sure you want to lock that in with two seconds left? Yeah, yeah. MashaAllah, Sister Zahra. It seems like you truly are a lover of Imam Hassan al Askari, the father of Imam al Mahdi, because we have now got into the shrine of the master of Al-Mahdi, Imam al Hussein's holy shrine. And whilst we wait for the question, me and Mullah Rashid huh? go to Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, the high note. Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla, Mawla, Hussein Mawla. Can you see it? No, not yet. Not yet. Hussein Mawla. Hussein Mawla. Mawla. They just screamed. Mawla. Mawla. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it now. Oh. I was very close. Hussein Mawla. Mawla. Hussein Mawla. Mawla. Hussein Mawla. Mawla. Sister Zahra, please put the images in the correct places. You have 60 seconds on the clock. And with that being said, may Allah, Muhammad, and Ali be with you. Okay, so can I now B in one? B1, please. A6. A6, please. D2. D2, please. E5. C5, please. E5, 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 sorry. E5, E5. Yes, sorry, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. And then, um... Ah, this is where it gets tricky. F4. F4? Yes. Which leaves C to be number three. Um, I'm waiting for it to load, load up on my screen to see if it's right. 
Well, Sister Sahra, let me tell you that from the bottom of my heart, Sense. unfortunately, I am so sorry to be the bearer of good news, but that is the correct answer. You have won seven steps to heaven. And with that, me and Mullah Rashid go to Hussein Mawla Mawla. Hussein Mawla Mawla. Hussein Mawla Mawla. Hussein Mawla. Hussein Mawla. Hussein for you. <laughs> nah. Nah. Sister Zahra, Mullah Rashid wants to tell you something. Congratulations, Sister Zahra. Not only are you going to receive a ring which was made from the marble of the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, but your name will be put in a hat. Mm. And at the, the last show or mm -hmm. this month. A special Eid ha. episode. Ha. Yes. yes, a special Eid episode. <laughs> we are going to take the names <laughs> out of a hat. Yes. Where inshallah we'll find out if you will be going to Karbala inshallah. So for now, congratulations. Stay tuned and you'll find out inshallah on the last day if you are going to Karbala or not. But well done Sister Zahra. Um, and yeah, inshallah we'll see you or hear from you inshallah. soon. Inshallah. Thank you so much, Sister Zahra. Thank you. Pray for me. Pray for Mullah Rashid. But as always, mention me first. And uh, say salam to your brothers. Let them call. Maybe they'll have a chance to go yeah. to Iraq. Family and trip. Family trip. There you go. But with that being said, Khuda. Hafiz. Hafiz. Khuda Hafiz. <laughs> Mashallah. Haq Ali Mawla. Um, I just want to ask the AV team, is there time for another caller? Or is that... I Did you get an answer? I heard one guy say yes, another one said no. So okay. <laughs> Can I get a confirmation if we have time for another caller? Yes? Okay. Yes. With that being said, Assalamu alaikum wa rahma wa ikram to our dear caller. Mullah Rashid, hey. let me ask you something. Talk to me. You've been to Iraq, mashallah, quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to carry on that discussion. Dear caller, assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Dear caller, you seem energetic. Please tell me your name and where you're calling from. It's Saliha Hanif. I'm calling from Durban, South Africa. Oh, yes. Allah. South Second Africa's person. turning up today. I knew the love of Ali ibn Abi Talib is everywhere, but did I ever think that we'll get two people from South Africa calling on the same episode? No. No, I did not. Mullah Rashid, what do you have to say to Sister? Sister, uh, yes, no, did you ask the Saliha. name? Sister Saliha. Did you forget her name, Mullah No, Rashid? I just didn't, I wasn't sure. Ha, ha, I wasn't okay. sure. Sister Saliha, thank you very much for calling in. Um, I'm guessing you've been watching the show, so you know how this works. Essentially, we're going to go through seven steps, seven questions, which will allow you to have the chance <laughs> for you to go to Karbala. So we are going to go straight into it um, and we're going to head to the shrine of Amir al Mu'mineen, Ali bin Abi Talib. Just to confirm, are you watching on YouTube, on a phone? I'm watching on YouTube. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So when that's loaded up on your screen, we are going to go straight into the first question. That's popped up on my screen now. By the time I end up explaining, it should be on yours too. So, question number one. The Holy Quran contains specific dietary laws for Muslims. Is this true or is it false? It's true. Okay, it's true. AV team, are we going to lock? It's true. It and indeed is true. It's something that me and Mullah Rashid uh, adhere to a lot, of course. And with that being said, we get to the second step. The second question where we will virtually be in Wadi Salam. The holy grave site where millions of Shias are buried. And I ask you, Sister Saliha, all the way from South Africa, America. Which surah is known as the night journey? Is it Surat al muzammin is it Surah Al Masad? Is it Surah Al Lahab? Or is it Surah Al Layl? Okay, it's not, it's not on my screen as yet. That's fine, but uh, I think you heard what I said. I can repeat it if you want, Sister Sadaha. I can even give you the right answer if you so please. That, that would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can what, sorry? I can remove one answer if you like um, to start, I will, just to help you. I'll, 
Okay. Yep, so let's remove one. Let's just do the code. Pew, 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 pew. Remove. Done. Surah Leheb is removed. Out of the three remaining, which one do you think is known mm -hmm. as the night journey? Okay, well, the only thing, that, thing that's telling me night or evening is Layl. Okay. Normally, Al Isra means a journey, so, so, but Layl is the only one that's, that's there, so we're going to settle with Surah Al Layl. Yeah, Ali Madad. Mashallah, South Africa, there's some smart people there because you got that question correct. With that being said, <coughs> with that being said, Mullah Rashid, where are we going? With that, we are going to head to the Imam Hussein TV3 studios at poll number 313. Oh, Just like everyone else, this is guess the place. Essentially, a blurry picture is on your screen or will pop up on your screen in a few seconds to Salihah, and you have to tell us what location this is. Is it either Imam Hussein's holy shrine? Is it Hazrat Abbas's holy shrine? Imam al Rava's holy shrine? Or the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam? Just to confirm, Sister Salihah, has that popped up on your screen? It has popped up on my screen now. Perfect. 30 seconds has it, begun. Uh, Imam Riza alayhi salam's holy okay. shrine. Okay. Okay. Straight in. Straight Very in. Confident, AV team, we're going to lock in Are Imam al Rava. Are you sure, Sister Salihah, that is the shrine of Imam al Rava? Gee, inshallah. Gee, Mawla al rakka Let's lock that in. Uh, let's lock in the shrine of Imam al Rava, AV team. And indeed, that is correct. Masha Allah, I pray through the intercession of Imam al Rava that Sister Saliha is the third winner of tonight's episode. Mullah Rashid, where are we now? Inshallah. We currently see a few vehicles, uh, two of those which are fantastic vehicles. Yes. One of them, your actual dream car. Yes, uh, a Mercedes Sprinter, <laughs> which I've never seen on the walk between Najaf to Karbala. With no tyres, but beautiful <laughs> silver rims. Uh, with that being said, Sister uh, Saliha, I ask you your third question, your fourth, sorry, which is, who was the oldest prophet mentioned in the Quran? Was it Nabi Musa alayhi salam? Was it Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam? Was it Nabi Nuh alayhi salam? Or was it Nabi Adam alayhi salam? Who was This is a bit of a tricky one. It is a sticky one, but if you know your prophets very well, as you should, maybe it becomes a If you say age-wise, Nuh alayhi salam seems to have, have been the oldest. Prophet Noah was, there are narrations saying he was how old? Well, 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 um, yeah, I think it was, they, they said 2000 years, but he ruled, or, or he, he, he brought his uh, the religion over 940 years. Mashallah. So, Mashallah. Uh, um, so, was he older than his Nabi predecessor, Nabi, Nabi Adam? Maybe? No? If you, if you say, well, Adam al Islam had come, come first into Islam. But so who do you want to confirm? Uh, okay, let's let's go with Nabi Adam and Islam. Do you want to confirm Nabi uh, Adam? Uh, AV team? I don't think she confirmed Nabi Nuh. Nabi Adam and Islam. But uh, no, I say. I think she did say Nabi Adam. Um, AV team, the sister did say Nabi Adam. Yeah. We are giving her Nabi Adam. That's fine. We're, yeah? We're, yeah, 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 yeah. Our hearts yeah, are yeah, 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 No, we're giving Nabi Adam. Wow. That's it. Number five. Mashallah. Number five. We are now at the holy. We are now at the holy Mokib Ahadi Karbala. With that being said, Mullah Rashid, take it away. Take it away. Question number five is guess the word. You have a few letters in front of you uh, when they load Sister Saliha, and you basically have to give us the right word. Um, so we have the letter H, an S, a U, an S, an I, an N, and an A, and you have to tell us what word does this spell? I What's wonder. Hussein? Wow, she said it, and I can hear the <laughs> smirk while yeah, she said it. She that. was like, You think I'm not going to get this? Come on. <laughs> Hussein. <laughs> With that being said, are you sure, Sister Saliha? Yes. Of course you are. AV team, let's lock that in. She said, Hussein. 
عند بكرش سيد حسين ولا راشد حسين مولا مولا 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 ما هاد بنيت بزي كلا ما شاء الله سيستا صالحة with my clap I bring you now virtually in front of the holy headquarters of Imam Hussein TV. And with that being said, the question is, how many verses are there in the holy Quran? Is it 3,795 verses? Is it 7,428 verses? Is it 6,236 verses? Or is it 6,348 verses? It, it's 6,236, so that's number three. Ma Sha Allah. Al Ali. Let's go. Let's lock in 6,237. <laughs> 37. Yeah, I was going to say that. Sorry, way so Every team, can we lock that in? There's that one verse that I added, which is the Sasana Hasha win on today. No! 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 Sister Salaha! No! Sister Salaha, you sounded so confident. Ah! I thought you knew the answer. It, I do. Tears are rolling down my face. No. That, that I have to tell you, Sister Sada, no. from South Africa, I, I, that you are not going... The answer you guys have on, on screen is incorrect. It is 6,236. Oh. I googled it. Oh. Oh. Are we Sheikh Google? Are we, are we... What are we going to do? Sheikh Google? Can I get back up? team. Yes, Um, Sister Saliha, I just checked, and uh, the Holy Quran does have 6,348 or 46 uh, verses, whilst you said it was 6,236. So you were just a bit below, but guess what, Sister Saliha? You're from South Africa, which means you have internet, which means you have WhatsApp. Um... Have got curve one. I can't. Okay, so does that mean we're taking her to the seventh step? Okay, Sister okay, Salah, right guess now. what? We have just decided to change and bend the rules and put you through to the seventh step. Can we get a salawat? Allah. <laughs> but whilst we take you to the seventh step, it's actually the holy shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. With that being said. Hussein Mawla Mawla 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 Baba Can you see it? <laughs> Ah, oh, just straight in. Sister Zahra, Saliha, Saliha, Al Harif, Min Ali Muhammad, Min South Africa. Sister Saliha, can you please tell me when you see the picture on your screens? Nothing yet. Okay. Okay, I see it now. Okay, perfect. So a let's, let's A6. A6, AV team. E, E1. E1, perfect. A6, AV team. E1. Yes, uh, C5. 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 Oh, yes. Very big clue. This one. A six. A six. 
Yes, you already said that. A6 is already there. A, A6. Yes, you already said A6. 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 There's only three and four left. B and F. Yeah. Um. Uh, B three. B three. And F four. B three and F four. F four. Let's see if you are correct. B three and F four. I can't. I can't really see, see things moving on the screen. Unfortunately, Sister Saleha, even though we took you to the seventh step, it seems like you got one incorrect because you put B at four when B, B should have been at B five. Is five. B is five, but unfortunately the time has run out, which means your mm. time has run out to correct your mistakes. But Mullah Rashid, give Sister Saleha the good news. The good news, Sister Saleha, is that this is not the end of the road for you. We are on four times a week. We are back on live tomorrow. Mm. Um, so please do call in. Talk to us again. And inshallah, 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 we can put your name in the hat and you can win and have a chance to go to Karbala. So it's not the end of the road. Don't worry about it. Call us again tomorrow. And inshallah ta'ala. You can get the chance to go to Inshallah, I mean. Inshallah, Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. But Sister Saleha, please remember me in your du'as. Remember Mullah Rashid in your du'as. And uh, uh, of course, remember me first. And with that being said, send salams to your family. Khuda. Khuda. Hafiz. Hafiz. Khuda Mula Hafiz. Salamat. Um. Are we taking another caller? Okay. Well, it seems like Mullah Rashid, after a roller coaster of a ride, we are now at the end. Yes. Tonight's shindig, tonight's grave, tonight's show. And with that being said, I want to ask you, Mullah, how yes. did you find today's show? How was it for you? Today's show was a bit disheartening. Yeah. Because we had a few people that obviously, you know, got so close, but they just didn't make that final so jump. So close. Yet so far from Mawla Hussein. Allah. 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 Let me hold myself back before I cry. Um, but uh, Mula Rashid, I just wanted to let you know that we had so many callers. Mm. Two from South Africa. Someone from Bradford, Manchester, Albania, Birmingham. Someone called in from Portugal. Ha. But we only had two winners today, which makes the heart feel the pain of not getting to Karamela. Um, with that being said, thank you so much to all our dear callers that called in today. Inshallah, if you did not get through today, please call us tomorrow. We're going live again at 11.30 p.m. London time. Join me. Join Mullah Rashid. We'll be more than happy to take you on, take you through the ride from the shrine of Imam Ali all the way to the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And you never know, you might get the ring. You might get the chance to go to Karbala, i.e. heaven on earth. But you'll have to call in and take the test with me and Mullah Rashid Haida. Mullah Rashid, any last words? Thank you very much to everyone that has called. We truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. And everyone else at home, by the way. I know there's a lot of you guys that are still watching. Mm. That are still a bit shy. They're not calling in. Mm. Tomorrow, I want to see the rest of you guys. Mm. I want to see the rest of you guys calling in, speaking to us. Because yeah, seven questions and you can go to Karbala. I think that's honestly one of the easiest things possible mm. to be able to get a trip to Karbala. So anyone at home watching, do not be shy. It's not that hard. Please, please call in. And inshallah, we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Inshallah. Uh, sent Mullah Rashid. With that and being that, said, I've been your host for the most and I go by the name of Yasser Hilfi. This has been Mullah Rashid Haidar. And we jointly say... Good night to you all. Thank you so much for calling us. Remember me and Mullah Rashid in your du'as. But most importantly, remember me first. And Khuda Hafiz. Ma'a salama. Ma'a salama Khuda Hafiz. Very, very, very good show today, Mullah Rashid. Ahsent. Wallah.
they ask, why has no other sign been sent down to him from his Lord? Say, O Prophet, the knowledge of the unseen is with Allah alone. So wait, I too am waiting with you. He awaited in the shadows of chaos, a beacon of light. With faith as his armor and justice as his sword, he leads the righteous. In a world of darkness, he shines as the guiding light of truth. With every step, a new era of justice and righteousness. Join me as we uncover untold truths about the life and legacy of Imam Al-Mahdi Al-Muntadar exclusively on Imam Hussein TV. They awaited.